Introduction. My name is Go Zhen Jing and my team ID is SG1609. I'm from Peiwan Serene School for Robotics Club, Singapore. My sub league is Recap Coast Space Rescue First Steps U19. Number 1. Summary of Challenge. Challenge Task. Pick up as many objects in the most efficient way possible and be able to deposit in the orange zone and avoid traps and walls. Prompts Investigated. How to get the highest point possible within the 5 minute mark. The Methods. By using the 4 minute 1 minute strategy. For first 4 minutes, the robot will only deposit when there's 4 or more loaded objects. This increases the chance of getting an RRGGBB, which helps to increase the total score. The results. The robot deposited more RRGGBB combo, which helped me to increase my total score. The conclusion. Due to the RGB combo, additional score is being added to a raw score, thus increasing the total score. Number 2. Analysis. Change mission to pick up objects of different colors in the shortest amount of time, effectively avoid traps and walls, and be also to deposit when orange zone. Task can be broken down into mini task. First is to pick up objects of different colors. Secondly, to effectively avoid traps and walls. Thirdly, deposit when orange zone of map. The mission will be solved when all mini tasks are done. Number 3. AI Algorithm and Resources The AI algorithm is color sensing and wheel stirring. The tools and resources is the code space application. Color sensing helps to find out the color of the object the robot is on by using the threshold of red, black, and cyan objects. Wheel stirring. Stirring rate depends on the 3 ultrasonic sensor and the color sensor. It helps to find the distance from wall and wall avoidance by using the minimum value of the 3 ultrasonic sonic sensor. And 4. Implementation methods use. Car sensing. Firstly, when the robot senses red, cyan, or black objects in any car sensor, it will pick up the object. Number 2. When the car sensor senses the yellow warning zone of the trap, it will reverse and turn away. Number 3. When the robot senses the orange zone of the map, it will deposit. Wheel stirring. Number one, when the ultrasonic sensor is within the minimum value for wall avoidance, it will move back slightly till the ultrasonic sensor value exceeds the minimum value for wall avoidance. Number two, when one of the color sensor sends orange, the wheel will move left or right depending on which color sensor sends orange. Till both color sensor sends orange, then the robot will deposit the loaded objects e currently. This is a full chart of how the robot will work. Firstly, when the robot sends an obstacle, it will turn back. Secondly, when the robot senses a sealant red or black object, either on the left or right color sensor, it will first ask itself whether loaded objects less than 6. If yes, it will, the key action will be turned to find an object and the LED will be 1. If no, it will go back to start again. And thirdly, when the robot sends a yellow warning zone of the trap. If yes, you will reverse and turn away from the yellow warning zone of the trap. Number 5. Debugging. Robot not fully on the orange zone. The problem is that as the robot is not fully on the deposit zone when depositing, it sometimes will not deposit loaded objects successfully, thus causing problems. The solution is by making sure that both car sensors of the robot is sensing a deposit zone when depositing. Example, when the left car sensor sends orange, the right wheel of the robot will move left till it senses orange on both sides. Number 6. Conclusion and further work. Comment on the result. The points increase greatly after using the strategy. If I were to solve the challenge again, I will improve by changing my strategy by making the loaded objects to 6 for the first 4 minutes. This will make the chance of getting a RGGBB combo higher than my previous 4 loaded objects for the first 4 minutes. Number 7. Learning Experience From using a cold space robot, I learned that square targeting is related to the Pythagoras theorem. From this cold space challenge, I've gained more knowledge about how square tar targeting helps the robot to move in a systematic way, thus helping to increase the total score. Most important points to share with other players. I will share with them about things that I've learned during the process of programming my robot.